The 69th annual Causeway Classic officially in the books. Big playoff implications on the line for both teams. The Aggies boosted their chances. The Hornets, they took a hit. There can be no rainbow without a cloud. UC Davis storming the field in the first half. The Aggies march down the field here. 10 plays, 75 yards. Lan Larison eclipses the 1,000 yards rushing mark on this drive. Caps it off with a three yard score. 7 0 lead. With 45 seconds left in the first, the Aggies strike again. Seven plays and 50 yards. Larison takes the handoff for the seven yard touchdown. His second of the day, 12th on the year, 14 0. Fourth and four now, the Hornets knocking on the door. Carson Conklin drops back, and looks for Marshall Martin and badly overthrown. Less than a minute to play in the half. Sac State with the ball again, but Conklin throws into double coverage. Is intercepted by Teddy Buchanan. The Aggies shut out the Hornets 17-0 at the break. Their first first half shutout since 2019. Sac State begins the second half the same way they end the first. Caden Bennett now rolls right, picked off by the captain, Teddy Buchanan, his second interception of the game. The Hornets finally find the end zone with 55 seconds left in the third. Bennett, plenty of time, in fact a lifetime, finally finds a wide open Anderson Grover, 16-yard touchdown that pulls him within 10. Land Larison continues to showcase his dominance, proving he's one of the best in the big sky. Miles Hastings with a short pass, Larison does the rest, balancing his way 47 yards down the sideline for the touchdown. Hornets still fighting, though. The O-line giving Bennett plenty of time. Rolls right, connects with Jared Gibson for the 14-yard touchdown. That pulls him back within 10. But there goes that man again. Larison for his fourth touchdown of the game, 10th in the last three games, including nine straight now for the Aggies. They win their first Causeway since 2018, 31-21. Lan, how does that feel? Feels great, feels great. First time beating Sac since I've been here at Davis. Uh, big game, feels good to get a win for the seniors. Amazing. I, I can't even put it in words just for the seniors to do that. And that was a tough one, but you know, I love my team and I love what we did. So I think we just play hard, just they got us today. Uh, I love those guys, man. When we come out here, and a lot of guys put their, uh, their all into it. So I can only say I love these guys and love what they do. Feels great. Uh, yeah, we don't know what the future holds, but it feels great to um, come into this game and, and get a W. Three straight, beat a top 10 team. That's all I got to say. Great to finish with three wins. Hopefully the football gods shine on us and put us in the playoffs. If you could predict that, you're a better Swami than me. Should we go? Yeah, we should. Will we go? I don't know. Life's not fair, neither is football, but I hope we get another run. So now it's all up to the committee. Did Davis do enough, and how much did this loss hurt the Hornets? Find out tomorrow for the FCS Selection Show, 9.30 a.m. In Davis, Michelle Dapper, KCRA 3 Sports.